Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After, etc. And welcome back to another Pandora video. So last week I did an overview of all of my Pandora rose pieces. They are plated pieces. And so everyone's always asking me how they hold up over time. Um, I don't really do a lot of the shine or the gold pieces because I'm just a pink kind of girl. Uh, and so while I enjoyed showing you all of my Pandora rose pieces, um, I, I've already shown you all my silver pieces. Now, eventually I will do another all collection, but not right now. Right now, I figured let's keep on going with the everything in my collection theme. And I'm going to show you all of the pink pieces in my collection, because aside from the Pandora Rose, my pink pieces are probably my favorites. I do not have nearly as many pink pieces as rose pieces because of course the Pandora rose pieces are more plentiful. There's more out there, um, but I do have quite a few of them. So we're going to start at the beginning and I'm going to show you all the Pandora pink pieces in my collection. I'll tell you kind of how old they are, how they've held up, how the enamels held up and just give you a look. Thought it might be fun. All right. So my very first, pink charms are these and as far as pink goes to me they are they're definitely pink I mean but they are not as pink as they're not like a baby pink these are the blush pink Muranos and to me they're more of a maybe dusty rose kind of pink but I do love them they are very pretty with all of the silver on this bracelet as they've aged, I feel like they've gotten more of this wine kind of a color. Like I said, more of a dusty rose. They were once a bit more blush. I will try to put like a stock post picture up on the screen to compare. But I don't think they've changed so much from the originals that I wouldn't have gotten them. I do still like them. So first things first, blush pink. Next ones I got are these Magnolia Clips. I don't think they're actually the Magnolia Clips. I'll put all the words, the, the names on the screen, but you can see they have the Dahlia Clips, I think. They have pink CZs in the middle and these kind of pink, petals all the way around. Now the pink petals, I think have aged more to a yellowish peach while the CZ is still very pink. Again, I will put a stock photo up on the screen. I do still love these, but they just are not what they used to be. And that's okay. They're the very first, this is my very first bracelet. It has gone through the most wear and tear. And a lot of those old formula pieces are just not what they used to be. If you came here from that rose gold video, I showed you how my very first rose gold piece here, how the plating has held up on it. Spoiler, it hasn't. And vice versa, how the plating on the new pieces is fabulous. So next, I have these two pink charms. So this one, Happily Ever After, and Minnie Mouse. They're both Minnie Mouse charms, actually, because this one has Mickey and Minnie on the front. And this one is just Minnie with CZs. Now, these are both button charms, and eventually I think they're going to go on a Disney-themed bracelet. But it is hard to say. As you know, my blog is Happily Ever After, etc., and so I love this happily ever after bead and I tend to wear it by itself on an open bangle stacked at the very top of a stack. Ignore the football. He's not pink at all. All right. Next up we have my pink multi-strand bracelet. This is fabric and I have sweet little Marie on it because I just love how she matches the pink on her bow 
with the pink of this bracelet. And I've tried to style her different ways and put her on an actual bracelet and wear this one plain, but I don't know, I just love it. So this is how I wear it, all pink, all the time. We will leave my absolute pink travel bracelet for last and move on to the pink on my rose gold bracelets. So first off, I have this little guy. These are the fan pieces and you can see they are rose gold and they have pink CZs. So I wasn't sure whether to include these, but I decided to include them because they are pink. If I added other pink beads to this bracelet, they would go. They're very shiny, which is the goal pink and rose gold and shiny is, is my goal. I'm not sure what your goal is. Then I have another set. So these are the cherry blossoms and they are hot pink, which is fun because a lot of Pandora is baby pink. I am an equal pink opportunist. I like all pinks all the time, but it is very pretty. And it even has a pink CZ on the slide and on the ends. That cherry blossom, man, it's just so pretty. And I stack this one with my pink leather sliding bracelet. So this is more of that baby pink Pandora loves. And I have on here all of the pink daisy clips and beads. You see how pretty those are? This is that baby, baby pink. The dragonfly, of course, is all rose gold, but it works, I think. And the clasp on this one does not have any of the pink details. It is just rose gold, but we have enough of the pink on the leather. And I do like that this leather has the metal closures, so it's not going to, um, wear down like a lot of the original leathers are. I do have, oh, I didn't even pull it out. I do have a pink leather bracelet. Let me see if I know where it is. I think it's in here. Yeah, I have this hot pink leather bracelet and I have had to glue it several times. I love these leathers, but they are, they do, they, they break. And it is a known function. I think that is why Pandora has gone away from them. I don't put that many beads on these. And since this one has broken, it is one of the only two Pandora pieces that I will put non-Pandora beads on. So these two I did a review on. They are, I can never say it. Gnocchi? Gnocchi? Ganache. I don't know. G-N-O-C-E, and I bought them specifically because they are photo beads. So my husband and I, on the day he proposed, and this is my husband, I, our two cats, and my bitty bitty. And a family photo right before Christmas. So oh, I love, I love having him with me. The typewriter on this piece, I almost pulled out because it does have, um, let's see, pink enamel. There we go on the keys right under love, a little row of pink enamel keys. I love it. Love, love, love it. My husband, um, loved typewriters. I actually bought him a typewriter for his very first Valentine's Day gift ever because it had his last name on it, Smith. Not a hard last name to find, um, but it was just this really cool typewriter and it had his last name on it and it was so heavy. He lived in a third story walk-up apartment and I lugged that thing all the way up the stairs and it was, it was very worth it to see the look on his face. So this is one of many bracelets for my husband, but I love, Love the hearts and the pictures. So there you go. Last but not least, 
This is my pink travel bracelet. It has the pink love travel suitcase in the middle, that baby pink enamel. I love it. It is an open bangle. And I do have the pink CZ ends on it because why wouldn't you? I really wish it was <laughs> easier to get these open bangles in the size two that I wear nowadays because Ladybug, don't mess up with the camera. It is one of my favorite bracelets to wear. But we have the pink popcorn, the pink suitcase, the pink butterfly beads. This is the I want to travel the world with you dangle. And it comes in a two part, kind of like friendship hearts. My mom has the other half. And then I am going to get, there is a I want to travel the world with you mother daughter pink enamel ones that I'm going to get to go with it. So that'll be cute. My Beats headphones, uh, my pink crystal, and my hot air balloons. So I love them. I love, all, I love how easy this bracelet is to wear. And I love that it still has plenty of dangles because a lot of my open bangles don't. So my, oh, I'm going to forget where I put it because I just put it away. Y'all like watching me go through these, don't you? There it is. I was going to say, I knew I was forgetting one. Apparently I've forgotten two. My rose gold open bangle also has the pink ladybug but you can see the dangle ratio here is, is different. But I like to stack these on top of a full snake chain and typically my full snake chains have lots of dangles. So I avoid putting a lot of dangles on these. But for my travel bracelets, I guess I don't care. I only have two, my full one and this one and I will wear them stacked or by themselves. It's just so pretty. Also love, of course, the pink enamel in these rose gold beads. I honestly wish I had four of these because they are stunning. And that's it, my entire pink collection. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, show your friends, tell your mom. I will be back in the next video. Bye, y'all.